today we're down at the end of Bruce Point Road without a seat belt, which we will quickly do up. The corner of St. Michael's Lane. I'm going to show you a couple different properties here. One I listed a few weeks ago on the water, which is 294 Bruce Point Road, which is at the end of this road on the left. This spot is so amazing. To my left is 294 Bruce Point Road. Great spot, phenomenal views. I'll show you in a second. The island, which you can find on Wikipedia, is quite famous. There was some residences there at some point. There isn't now. At one point it was attempted to be developed, and it wasn't. And now it sits as a island that is owned by the provincial government. It is the home of a number of species of birds that cannot or are hard to find anywhere else. And we're going to check out a new listing. It's 395 Canadian. It sits on just over seven acres, sort of perched on a little bit of a hill. It's got some amazing panoramic views of the island. And you have complete and utter seclusion here off of Michael's Lane. Nice private entrance, no neighbors that you can see. They've left most of the terrain just brush, which a lot of people on the island prefer. But check out the panoramic views. And that would be the causeway to the island. And then this is the cottage, which is approximately a thousand square feet. And then you got a couple other outbuildings, little gardens. It's a, it's a cool spot. When we enter the property, we've got two large outbuildings. We've got the cottage. That would be the sunroom that's all boarded up. Magnificent water views with Boughton Island in the distance down the causeway of Sandy Beach. We've got where the owners originally stayed when they built the cottage, this RV. And then we've got this outbuilding here. The owners weren't too happy with the shower that was in the RV. So they installed this full bathroom. And then this area here was used for storage as they were building the cottage. We're doing this all freehand today with a secondary camera because some bonehead left the other camera at the office. That's the island. Looks like you can drive down to the beach. I was wondering where those, where that laneway went. You have some beautiful panoramic views here. This is really awesome. The cottage features vinyl siding, vinyl windows, a steel roof, and then two large outbuildings here. Outbuilding number one houses the lawnmower and is used as a little bit of a woodworking shop here. I don't have the key to outbuilding number two. Quick shot of the back of the cottage. That is a fiberglass oil tank for a space heater. And then that would be the main entrance in the right corner. The back garden features what look to be raspberries. And then you've got a large fenced-in area here. This telephone pole here seems to exist for purposes of removing your rearview mirror as you back out. It doesn't appear to have any utility. Stepping in your palatial rustic cottage. Coming through that door there, we're welcomed with the laundry room. And in the corner, electric fired hot water heater, washer and dryer, and over here your electrical panel. Stepping inside, we have a combination living, dining area, and your kitchen, which is all completely open concept, features water views, perfect for entertaining and dining. There's your fridge, and through this door here is the sunroom. Maybe we'll call it a screen room. It's all completely boarded in right now as we're into the fall. But you can imagine how nice this would be come the spring and summer. The main floor bathroom features a sink, toilet, and another stand-up shower. We've got two bedrooms on the back of the cottage. Your living room area, which has lots of large windows. And of course, to frame it all up, is the view of the island and the causeway. Bedroom number two sits in the back corner of the cottage towards the sheds. Thank you for watching PEI Cottage Life here at 32 Driftwood 
launching Prince Edward Island, Canada. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the little bell beside it, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about PEI real estate, real estate in general, or anything PEI, put it in the comments below and have yourself a great day.